Hey everybody, just stopped here uh, after Uncle Bill workshop in uh, a random town, random, random Farmers Road, Colorado. Uh, George is with me, and as long as the signal holds out, I'm gonna try and uh, take a little walk. And uh, there's George here, joining us for a second day for a little meditation. And uh, I was just thinking uh, after. Uh, our workshop with uh, Dr. Andre and Philip Silas is kind of thinking of uh, the idea of uh, sinking, but then also the idea of extending, and then also the idea of, uh, you know, if we have uh, sink and let's say extending up, sink, extend up feels vertical, but if there's also movement, um, then we end up with this sine wave, then we end up with this rolling. So let's do this as a walking meditation, even though we don't know if the signal will hold up. And uh, since we have a little road, maybe we'll just take a short walk up the road. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, yeah, we'll do it this way. We'll let you guys take the route. And uh, so I'm just kind of feeling with every step that my body releases down into the new step that I've just placed in front of me. And there's a continual extension up. So meeting the head top to the sky. So there's a really nice balance. I also feel my weight rise up out of that leg. So I step my foot and then the weight has to rise up out of it in order to fall down into the next leg, the next new step. So I kind of can feel just the sine wave below the lower dantian, rising through one leg, crossing the dantian or, or the pelvis and then falling into the next. George just uh, found a piece of glass and a stone. Looks like a little fire cord that he found. And one of the things is that we can end up with this actual practice of rolling where we actually do kind of rise physically and settle, but it can also be an internal sensation. Uh, so if I was walking in a room where the ceiling precisely was measured to touch my scalp, we could walk in a way that I continue to touch the ceiling the whole way, and yet I'm rolling, rising, falling. So I have this sense of moving in that sine wave, and which is often how nature moves forward or backward, whichever the direction, moves laterally. There's a fall and a rise, there's a phase shift. And not only are George and I uh, not, uh, so we're just walking, I don't, can't see, but we're just walking on this path here. So keep going, George, keep going, keep going, keep going. So not only are we walking on this path, so we're walking, not standing, and we're on the path. So we're absolutely not outstanding in that field. We're doing, in fact, quite the opposite. <laughs> so, and uh, George has spent so far most of the meditation stopping to look at rocks and uh, random detritus. Um, so, like these ants, I don't know if you guys are able to see, which I'm presuming are ants, but they seem a little round to me, maybe not ants. Uh, but the ground is rather alive with them. And so you might think, well, George is not a good meditator. He's already collected three rocks and stopped for six others while we're doing this meditation. So the worst kind of student. And that might be true in a, in a Zendo. But the reason that we're out here is to have a walk out here. Like, this is here. This isn't about our plan to have a rising, lifting, rolling meditation. It's like, hey, there's this. And then we can decide, perhaps, look at this, George, it's kind of a yin-yang sort of here. We could decide, perhaps, to return to it and say, well, we had a walk, and we were going to meditate, and then the cool thing happened, and we stopped meditating, and then decide to re-meditate. Or that could just be the natural end to the meditation. So, George... Um, didn't beat himself up about it. He didn't try and get out of the camera when he saw something to pick up. He, he didn't uh, sort of roll his eyes or frown or sort of secretly or discreetly pick up a rock. He was just like, no, this is how I am. This is who I am, picking up a rock. 
yeah so this is a nice kind of way to practice and i just spent the last few hours kind of working on some of these principles so i like to let the meditation i do be guided by the context i find myself in the people i'm with the place i'm in uh, what's been on my mind what quote i just read and in this case we spent the morning with philip silas and dr andre and so kind of had these notions of uh, soft extensions and always moving and philip has a really nice kind of down experience and of course a different type of rolling and so i thought well let's just kind of walk in this way that there, there's an undulation which you know when we pulled over here you know relatively kind of flat scenery just everywhere flat flat you know we're in the the relatively uh, flat bottom bowl of this mountain area and then we came upon this kind of undulating little bit of farmland field and I think George and I both kind of had the thought here uh, just after we found the the hawk medicine a few minutes ago we thought oh for whatever reason we're pulling in here to do a little meditation and and then I saw the field undulating and I was like oh that sort of clicked it all together. I was thinking about up and down and then also always moving forward. Um, so I think I wrote in the title to this, you know, sinking, extending, and rolling. So I talked about the extension being up, but the extension can also be to an intention. Like George has been, without us discussing it, extending his focused intention to the rocks that, or sticks. We did it a few minutes ago with the purported ants. I'm doing it now with this uh, smile stick. It's right on the end of the edge of the field here, which is uh, pretty cool. But yeah, it's a happy stick. So, and I'll do that. I'll be walking along and I'll see a stick that's in a smile and I'll say, oh, I guess I'm doing a smile meditation. For me, it's like a catalyst to creativity. For somebody else, they might do the same thing. They'll see a smile stick, but then they'll think, oh, it's a sign. Like it's a divine intervention that wanted me to do. I, I don't need to ascribe it to that. I just feel like that's a catalyst for creativity. And then we kind of pulled over in the first sort of undulations that we had seen in the topography. And I thought, oh, that kind of clicks together the whole lesson. So we just have a few more steps to the car, so maybe we'll do those a little quietly. I'll stop blathering. Uh, do you want to add anything to what I said, George, or don't need to? Yeah. Feel good? Yes. All right, so we'll just uh, continue to walk, and I'll give you the forward view. meditation to the rental car. Is this cottonwood, George? Okay. Maybe we'll just uh, finish. We'll bow to the cottonwood. Thank you very much from somewhere in Colorado. Thank you, George. Thank you. <laughs>